Hi, I'm Paris, and it's time for some pillow talk. Well, at least some talk about pillows. Now, I'm very particular about my pillow. I'm a light sleeper, and so things need to be as close to perfect as possible, and the pillow's a big part of that. I've always liked hotel pillows at nice hotels. They seem to be more comfortable. They seem to be softer than the pillows at home. So, when I saw an As Seen on TV ad for the Hotel Plush Pillow, I had to give it a try. Epic review time. The Hotel Plush Pillow costs five times what I usually spend on a pillow, which is $12. So yes, this is $60. It, can it be five times better than a regular pillow? Well, I'm going to show you my regular pillow. Take this one to bed and see how it works. If you're interested in this Hotel Plush Pillow, I'll put a link to it down below this video. Here is my regular pillow, and I've been using this probably for about a year. It's worn out, in my opinion, because the way pillows work for me, I get a pillow that's medium firm, but the first month or so when I have it, it's too firm. And then finally it gets to be just right, but that only lasts for maybe three or four months. And then it gets too compacted and too thin. So limited lifetime. Pillows are disposable things for me. This is what it looks like. And you can see they do give it about an inch, inch and a half room here for it to expand. This has been a good pillow, but I need something new. Let me take this out of the package and show you it in a little more detail. This portion here, which I guess is called the gussetine, is about the same on both of these pillows, but this one is fluffed up more below it and more above it. I've actually slept on this for three nights now. I wanted to try it out before reporting to you on whether I thought it was comfortable or not instead of just giving it a few minute trial. Now, I initially tried this about a week and a half ago for one night, then my wife tried it for one night, and we both decided we didn't care for it. But uh, friends suggested with another pillow that I have, I'll be reviewing soon, the uh, Bamboo, Miracle Bamboo Pillow, that there's a certain way you have to sleep with these and that they're very comfortable if you do that. So I decided to give it another try. And um, I meant to try it for one night, but I've actually been sleeping on it for three nights rather than switching back over, mostly just out of laziness and not wanting to change the pillowcases. The Hotel Plush Pillow is a very nice pillow. It has that hotel feel. It's the uh, cover is very smooth and nice. Inside it's, what do they call it, whipped fibers. So instead of having chunks of foam, it's, it's very evenly distributed. It's a very nice pillow, but I'm a side sleeper and I sleep with my arm up underneath of the pillow. And with this pillow, it, it works fine if you don't mind fluffing and plumping and adjusting it to where you need it to be thick. And I like my pillow to just have that standard thickness throughout so that I can roll over. I don't have to go and readjust the pillow and move it around and twist it around and fluff it up so that it feels just right. Does that make sense or am I not using the right terminology? So if you are used to or you don't mind or perhaps you even prefer contorting your pillow to fit under your head, I think you will love this pillow. But if you like to just have your pillow just the right thickness and the amount of firmness throughout so that you can lie with your face over here, you can roll over, and you don't have to reaccommodate the pillow, then I think this may not be the best one for you. So here I am in my standard sleeping position on my standard pillow. A little bit too much fluff has gone out from this for it to be comfortable for me. You can see the arm here. This is how I sleep, whether I'm facing one way or the other, occasionally on my back for a little while. Let me show you what this looks like on my back. Definitely I can feel the lack of fluff when I'm uh, on my back. I can feel the back of my head on the mattress. Here's the Hotel Plush pillow on my back. Feels fine. I, I do sink most of the way through it, but there's still enough cushion that um, it's not uncomfortable on the back of my head. But when I'm on my side, <clears throat> My head, I can feel it on my arm underneath of there. There's just not enough cushion through there. So that's when I have to take it, plump it, tuck it in there and adjust. And then I can make it so it is comfortable and I'm fine until I need to roll over. And then uh, while I'm sleeping, I need to, to tuck and roll and plump and do all of those same things to make it comfortable. That's where I would rather have a pillow that I can just roll over and it's at just the right thickness and just the right firmness so I can just go right back to sleep. Here you can sort of see the difference between my worn out standard pillow 
and this hotel plush pillow how nice and fluffy it looks and it is a nice loose filling but it does flatten out quite a bit when you put your weight on it those of you who regularly watch our channel may be wondering that mattress that i was on is that the ghost bed mattress that i reviewed recently and yes it is we switched to it, we switched back to our standard mattress. We're back on the ghost mattress now for several weeks. Um, wanna switch one more time. My wife gets tired of this. But I'd like to switch one more time just to make sure that we really do like that um, ghost bed mattress style better. But I think pretty much we've already decided that we do. As for the hotel plush pillow, this is a nice pillow. I, I, it, it, as soon as I opened it up, it felt like a hotel to me. It, it, it's so nice and soft and the material inside is very nice if it meets your style of sleeping, which unfortunately not quite for me. If you'd like to find out more about the Hotel Plush Pillow, there's a link down below this video and I will be back soon with the Magic Bamboo Pillow review. You can keep checking back for that or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy At Epic Review Guys, a gift of a try what does the fox buy? Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches